Hello everyone, I decided to make this very short video because I know that there are a lot of people in the Rust community, myself included, who use Vim slash NeoVim to write Vim code. Um, but I also think that there are a lot of people, people who don't know that there are specific tools to be able to debug in this Vim ecosystem. Um, I just want to also note that I'm not going to be teaching you how to debug Rust code per se, but I'm going to be teaching you the, that there are tools in the Vim ecosystem that you can do so. That you can debug with. I also want to apologize for the background noise, but anyway, let's just get started. Uh, so here's just this Vim project, uh, this Rust project I've been working on. The code itself is not important. Uh, what is important is that I want to teach you how to debug. So using, we're going to be using GDB to debug in the first example with term debug. Uh, so the way we do this is by using by writing the command pack add in uh, the command, I guess the command mode. And then term debug. Term debug comes included in NeoVim or the latest version of NeoVim, and um, I think eight, Vim eight and four onwards. I'm not sure about Vim seven and uh, downwards, but hopefully this works for you. So once you uh, add term debug, um, so what we're doing by the way here is just adding, I guess the plugin term debug that comes included in our Vim package. So once we do that, we can we also want to do term let term debugger um, equal rust gdb uh, this is just noting now that we're going to be using the specific version um, of gdb that is most op like i guess m better for uh, rust compilation uh, once we do that we want to um, load term debug um, with the executable our program is going to uh, run with. If you don't know what this is, I'm going to uh, tell you. So the first thing you want to do um, is run cargo build. And once in cargo build, you want to find the executable. The executable is most likely in term debug and then uh, the name of your project, most likely. So once you find it, you can finally um, load it up using term debug so in this case we will be using target uh debug and curves.rs finally we can load it up and get yep so now that we're here we can finally set breakpoints as you expected this is basically using um gdb but in a more i guess in a vim way um so for example we can set a breakpoint at line 22 and then once we are done um we can always press run but let me just set more breakpoints and for example let me just set a breakpoint on line 30 and now we're good to go and now we can hit run and as you can see here like i said we are going to get like some the what makes this good like if you might ask like why are we not just using gdb inside of this out of him the thing is that vim allows you to give like um i guess like this whole setup allows you to easily be your, be your code and work with the debugger the way you want it it also gives you like a pretty nice syntax highlighting i don't know if you can see here but uh this i think this is better than like the default uh gdb layout for us and with this being said we can find we can also like do like we also get like a where we get our console logs here and we can just use this panel to uh, control I guess what debugging there's also with I think with Vim uh, 8.0 and above we can finally also use the command evaluate to evaluate um, some stuff so it's pretty cool and um, as always we can just do this it works like a debugger would like GDB does. And that is basically the first example of how to use, the, I guess, Vim with term debug. And it's pretty useful. Now let us move on to the next one. So before I wanted to move on to uh, Vim Spectre, I want to say that I am going to put a cheat sheet of GDB in case you don't know how to use it um, in the description of this video. Uh, but anyway, let's move on. So the second one is Vim Spectre. And I kind of wanted to talk more about here in, the, in my notes. Um, and the thing is, Vim Spectre, unlike term debug, it's not built in. 
Uh, you got to download it in by using your whatever plugin manager in Vim you use. And basically, you're just going to download Vim Spectre. Uh, the instructions are all here in the Vim Spectre page. I'll also link it. And once you get it downloading um, and install the gadgets, uh, the inspector works by using like this gadget system. You can finally then only uh, create a configuration to tell the inspector how it's going to debug your code. The thing is, um, I kind of ha have this whole system set up where I use another, I guess, popular NeoVim plugin called CLC and have them both launch uh, the inspector at the same time. Uh, so before I move on, I do want to show you how I configure um, my vinspector.json. So I have this configuration. I have two configurations, one for LLMDB, which I uh, most commonly use, and GDB. So basically, I just have this configuration um, that tells uh, CLC uh, and vinspector just exactly how I'm going to debug. And once I set, like, I guess this Vim Spectre way with this con uh, configuration, the way I detailed it here, I can then have another, um, in my CLC config, I have this line right here. Um, let me search for it. Launch. And it is right here. Oh, yeah. I, I renamed it to Rust LLDVM. So this line right here, Rust Analyzer that debug that Vinspector uh, configuration that name. Once I have this here, all I have to do when I go to my program is uh, in my configuration run Control G and then debug. Um, once I do that, that and do a cargo build. I can now, um, I can now debug, like I said I would. And here I forgot to put breakpoints, but as you can see, it works. And now I'm going to show an example where this actually does, as I said it would. But the example here, it's going to be, I think, a more interesting one um, than the one I said, the one I uh, alluded to would uh, GDB. Uh, since CLC is like a completion uh, system based on your uh, language server, um, in case you don't know what that is, I, I will put some resources down. Then we can also, I guess, load up other examples. In this case, um, instead of debugging my main function, I'm going to be debugging, or I'm going to show you that you can also debug uh, your tests, which is really nice. So in this graphics engine, I have written a matrix, a very short matrix library, and I want to debug it. So here, I would just be uh, using the same keybind. Um, and also, let me show you that the, where the keybind exists. Um, DLC.RC. The keybind that I use is uh, space G, which is CLC code lenses. And what is that? Once I do uh, space G, I have this option to click debug. Um, and then, uh, sorry, I forgot to mention as well, but uh, Vinspector in NeoVin specifically needs keybinds uh, to be mapped down. So before I continue, I do want to also show these keybinds. Um, so here I have in my uh, config NeoVim after FTP and rust.vim plugins, which are where, uh, I guess, language specific uh, settings are supposed to go. I mapped out all my keybinds I use for Vim Spectre and debugging. Now, I, as I said, uh, I can do control, I can do leader OC, oh, I can do leader OO to, I guess, note down where I want a breakpoint. And you can, uh, the cool thing about Vim Spectre, it's like, show like this symbol so you know where um, the breakpoint is going to be at. 
So once we hit like multiple symbols, we can just do that. And then finally, we do control G and debug. It's going to attempt to go there. As you can see, now I have everything uh, noted down. And this looks very similar to what you expect in something like VS Code. Uh, it will tell us our scope. It will tell us which step we are. Uh, in this case, it will tell us uh, like the arguments, my an argument in uh, values my test matrix has. And I think it's very cool. Um, and then we can just do step or we can use, we can write step here or we can use uh, the key binds I know it down here. So if I do something like uh, leader, leader 08, I can go something, uh, I can go through the steps, which I think is very cool. Um, so that is basically all I wanted to show you. I, I know I went quickly, but these are the tools that I use to debug uh, Rust. I mostly use Vim Spectre just because I like the way uh, the more, like, I guess, the added information it gives me um, with the scope. And I can watch variables as I expect them. The only downside, I guess, is that, uh, or no, not maybe a downside, but I'm more familiar with GDB and the configuration or Vim Spectre is mostly Inspector with Rust is mostly optimized for um, LLDB, which is a bit different from GDB. However, I am also going to note down this guide, which you can use that basically converts GDB to LLDB uh, commands. So in case you're confused with that, there's always that option. Um, so thanks for watching and hopefully you learned something new um, about my setup and how to debug. Thank you.